Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a very quick and simple artwork on here using some mixed media pieces. So I'm going to be using some real jade quartz, some decoration fillers, possibly some glass gravel. Not sure about that one yet. We'll see as we move forward. We're also going to be using some powder pigment to tint the gel medium. So we're going to be using gel medium also and we're going to be using some powder pigment to tint that later on. But we're also going to be using it as is. So we also will need a couple of palette knives. So a round one, uh, sorry, flat one for placing a lot of the gel medium and then a smaller one for shaping and forming that. So I've already prepped the board, I've painted it with a white sealer. So this is just a bog standard painting board that you can get from your art supply store or perhaps your local discount store. I got this from Kmart here in Australia. It was uh, They were selling them off cheap, I got them for eight dollars each. So we're going to start off by adding the base of the gel medium so that we can stick the quartz to the board. So it's going to need to get a, a generous helping, generous layer of gel medium applied to the board. Now I'm not following particular pattern. I do tend to do things in, I like to work with curves so I will form curve shapes more often than not. It just seems to be something that I have a tendency to do but you can do any shape that you want. Now the reason I'm using real quartz is that I like, I like crystals and I like to have them on display next to my oracle cards and tarot cards and things like that and so I actually like to have them around the home but so I've decided rather than just having them sitting on a shelf I will actually turn them into a bit of art that I can stick on the wall in my office so just so we've got a generous layer of the gel medium now on the board so next what we're going to do is we're going to take our quartz and we're going to start off with some of the big chunkier pieces to start off with and then going around the edge we'll then use some of the smaller pieces so in it I've already used smaller pieces out of this for a different project so I will grab some small bits out of this so we'll start off by adding these so what I'm going to do also is I'm actually going to add a, a small thin layer of gel medium here so that when I place it onto the board we've got the gel medium on the board and also on here and then that'll help to make sure this sticks because then we've got plenty of the medium within the grooves of the stones if that makes sense so I'm just going to add plenty on there so that we know that when we add this to the board it's going to stick so just push that down make sure that that's st stuck on there now if you followed me before you'll know if we followed any of my videos before you'll know that I've used gel medium on a variety of different projects and I found that it works really well when trying to glue to things to items. So this works well on things like glass, plastic and what have you so it's it pretty good to use and also one of the big bonuses is it dries clear. You can also mix it with paint to tint and create texture on your board and the beauty is because it dries clear you then don't lose any of the vibrancy from your paint on there. So I'm going to carry on doing this and I'll speed up the film so that you're not watching me attach every single one of these pieces.
So as we move up the board, I'm now going to start using some smaller pieces because I want the bulk of the stone to be at the bottom and then slowly fade out when, as we move up to the top. So I'm just using some smaller chunks. And it's a little bit like a jigsaw puzzle where you get the pieces to fit in between others. And the good thing with using natural stone is you get all these different colours in there which complement each other and work well together. Now I'm also not going to go all the way up to the top of the green because I'm going to add some clear decoration fillers in here to finish off the pattern and the design. Okay, so that'll do for the the quartz, the jade quartz. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our empty container that originally had the jade quartz in and I'm going to place my decoration fillers in here. Now the reason why I'm using this tub is that I'm going to mix these with some gel medium but then if I don't use all of the stones I can then place the lid on it and then save these for another day once they've been mixed up so it means that they won't go dry in there so it means that they can be reused. So I'm going to put a couple of dollops of the gel medium into the stones. So I need a fair, fair amount and then we're going to mix them together. So pop the lid back on here so this doesn't dry out and then what we're going to do is we're literally going to mix these with the gel and make sure they're all coated. So I'm just going to spoon this around the edges. Don't worry too much at the moment that whether they're placed right up against the stones because I'm just literally going to place these around the edge and then I'm going to use another spatula to move it close to the stones. And what I'm doing now is I'm just moving these around I'm just pushing them into next to the stones and making sure that they're in the position that I want them. So now that we've applied the stones I'm now going to add some gel medium to the rest of the board just so that I can create some movement and texture and so it's not just a, a flat paint job and this adds a nice gloss to the surface so this is so those people who are perhaps not wanting to or don't like using resin because of the toxicity of resin this is a good alternative now while it won't give you the the smooth look that resin will it will still offer you a nice glossy texture and I actually prefer this because if you've been following me for a while you'll know that I like texture even in resin so I'll add stones and what have you to the resin to create texture so just make sure you've got plenty on the surface and that you've not got any gaps and then I'm just going to do the same on this side now notice I'm actually still following the shape of this pattern just so that it, it doesn't look too random and that it does actually look like I know what I'm doing. So now I'm going to mix some of this powder pigment in with some gel medium. Now the reason why I'm using powder pigment is this is the nearest colour that I can find that's close to this jade that I have in stock without having to mix a colour and also because the powder pigment is metallic and so you get that shimmer through the colours and so this is the exact colour that I want but you can actually use inks or paints or anything that you have that will work that is match the colour that you're actually after so what I'm going to do again like we did before with the stones I'm actually going to add a generous layer of gel medium into 
a clear jar. Now the reason why I'm using this clear jar is that I'm going to be using this colour again and so again I can once I've mixed it I can put the lid on and then reuse this colour again. So it just saves it going to waste. So just place that down a sec. So now I'm just going to take a small amount of the pigment and place it in the jar. Now when you're working with powder pigments make sure you're wearing a mask, to, so a dust mask so that you're not breathing in any of those metallic fibres because they're not good for your health. So you don't want the, you don't want to be breathing this in. So I'm just going to mix this up well and as I mentioned before this will actually dry clear so don't worry if it starts looking a little bit milky in comparison to the original shade see how it's a little bit hard to see there but see how it's a little bit milky and so this when it dries will go back to the original pigment colour so now that that's mixed we can apply it to the board. I'm just going to pop the lid back on the pigment first. And now we can begin. So using a small palette knife I'm now going to start adding some of this to the outside of the stone. So I'm literally just going to start adding that to the stone, the outside. And I, I'm, I'm not worried about it being perfect, it's just, and that's why I'm adding it with a palette knife, is so that I can just drag that across the surface and just tint that slightly. And using the palette knife I can push it right up to the stones. And as you can see I'm not actually using a great deal here, so this is why I've put it in the jar, that way I can use it time and time again. And as you can see I'm slowly allowing the colour to go a bit lighter out to the edge and it's so we don't have a hard line. So now to help blend this light area into this blue area I'm now going to add some of the glass gravel to the board and I'm just going to sprinkle it just along the edge here and then I'll come back in a, in a second and push it down into the gel medium. So I'm just going to just sprinkle it just across the edge here so we've got a little bit of a line between, a definitive line between the two. So I've also decided to just throw a few of these in around the edge of the quartz. Now don't worry if any of these are not stuck in with the the gems and the quartz at the moment because when it dries tomorrow I'm actually going to go back over it with some gel medium and just paint it over the top and it will catch any of those that are not stuck in and it we will then stick it to those gems and then that will help with that to make that stick. So all I'm going to do now is just press these down into the wet medium just to help that stick. And like I say tomorrow we'll come back and we'll see if there's any areas that haven't stuck and we'll stick it with some extra gel medium so just put, push that down. Now while we're waiting for this to dry I just want to share with you that I'd forgotten to turn the camera on when I was gluing on the loose stones the following day so unfortunately I don't have any film footage of that but you get the idea that I just used a, a touch of the gel medium and then any pieces that were not stuck down I then just glued those pieces on and again left them to dry. 
As always, I hope you enjoyed this video and it's given you some ideas for creating your own crystal artwork without using resin. So if you enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up or better still subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be bringing you plenty more ideas in the coming weeks and months. Plus I have plenty of other videos to keep you entertained while you're waiting for new ones to come along. So until the next video, bye for now.